Something is coming and it's not from here. On July 1st, 2025, astronomers spotted a strange object racing into our solar system at over 130,000 nanometer pH. It's called 3i Atlas, and it's only the third interstellar visitor ever seen. But this one's different. Its tail points toward the sun backwards. Its chemistry is alien, and it's moving like it's not just drifting, but slowing down. Some scientists are whispering a word rarely spoken in science, artificial. Michio Kaku warns, the last time we didn't take the sky seriously, the dinosaurs disappeared. Could this be a probe, a message, or something far more urgent? Background interstellar visitors so far. Before 3 I Atlas burst onto our radar, we'd only clearly seen two objects from outside our solar system. Knowing them helps us understand just how weird this new one is. The first was Oumuamua, discovered in 2017. It came in fast from interstellar space, but it acted like nothing we'd seen. No clear tail or gas cloud. It was weirdly shaped. It sped up in strange ways that gravity alone couldn't explain. Some thought it might be a comet, others an asteroid. Some even wondered if it was something unnatural. But we didn't have enough evidence to say for sure. It passed by, leaving questions. The second was 2i Borisov, found in 2019. It was more familiar. It had the usual features of a comet, a fuzz cloud around it, jets of gas and dust. It was icy. It behaved mostly like comets from our solar system do when heated by the sun. Still, even Borisov had things to teach us about comets that form far away in different star systems with different chemistry. But nothing quite matched the puzzles Oumuamua gave us. These two taught us important lessons. Objects from outside aren't rare, but we rarely catch them early. They can behave in strange, unexpected ways. We don't totally know what materials or shapes are normal in other star systems. So when we saw 3 I Atlas, scientists already had questions in their minds. How is it similar? How is it different? Does it follow the same weird rules or break them entirely? That's what makes this moment exciting. Because if 3 I Atlas behaves like Oumuamua or Borisov, maybe we can fit it into what we already know. But if it doesn't, then we might be looking at something new. Something that forces us to rethink what we believe about space visitors, about comets, interstellar objects, even the laws that we thought always held true. Discovery story of 3 I Atlas. It all began on July the 1st, 2025, when Chile's Atlas Survey, a telescope system searching for near-Earth objects, noticed something odd, a point of light moving fast, too fast to be just another regular asteroid or comet. Initial calculations showed it was traveling at incredible speed, coming from interstellar space on an orbit that wouldn't bring it back. The news spread quickly. Observatories around the world swung their telescopes in Arizona, in Hawaii, in Australia. Amateur sky watchers, too, all eager to get more data, photos, brightness measurements, precise positions in the sky. The goal, map its path precisely before it disappeared. Even early on, the numbers were shocking. The orbit was hyperbolic, meaning 3i Atlas wasn't bound by the sun's gravity in the usual way. It was more like a bullet passing through. Its angle of approach was shallow, almost level with the paths that Earth and the other planets follow. Most interstellar objects come in at steep angles. This one seemed to thread close to the common plane of planetary orbits. That meant it could pass close to more planets on its way through, something nobody expected. In those first days, scientists also noticed something else, the tail or plume. Images hinted it wasn't behaving like typical comet tails that are blown away from the sun. But those early pics weren't perfect. There was lots of noise, atmospheric blur, light glare. But as better telescopes joined in, larger instruments with sharper resolution, the strange behavior held up. The plume still seemed to defy solar wind. The brightness shifted in ways that didn't match simple comet models, anomalies in behavior. What's weird? The more scientists studied 3i Atlas, the stranger it got. One of the first big surprises came from its tail, or what looked like one. Normally, when a comet gets close to the sun, it heats up. That causes gas and dust to shoot out from its surface, and solar radiation blows that material away from the sun. That's why comet tails always point away from the sun. It's basic space weather, but not this time. Three High Atlas had a plume that did the exact opposite. It pointed toward the sun and it stayed that way for days, then over a week, then longer. Even as the object moved, the tail didn't swing around the way comet tails usually do. It stayed locked in place, dense, tight, and sunward. At first, 
Scientists thought it might be a trick of the camera or something to do with how the telescope was angled. But more telescopes confirmed the same thing. Chile, Arizona, Hawaii, even amateur telescopes matched the pattern. It wasn't a glitch. It was real. Then came the chemical data. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and ground-based spectrographs showed a massive amount of carbon dioxide, way more than expected. Normally, comets have more water vapor than CO2, but 3i Atlas had the opposite. Not just a little. Eight times more CO2 than H2O, that's almost unheard of. Even more strange, scientists found nickel in the plume. Not iron, just nickel. Normally, those two metals show up together. Here they didn't. That's like finding peanut butter with no jelly. It suggested something rare or highly processed was going on. All of this raised a serious question. If this isn't behaving like a normal comet, is it even a comet at all? Or is it something else? A machine, a fragment, something made. The shape of the plume, the direction, the chemistry. It didn't just look unusual. It looked intentional. Natural explanations versus speculation. Once all these strange details came in, the backward tale, the weird chemistry, the consistent push, scientists had a choice. Either this is a very weird natural object, or it's something not natural at all. The first idea was to stick with nature. Maybe the object has pockets of frozen CO2 under its surface that are shooting out gas in a very focused way. Maybe it's spinning just right so the jets always aim sunward. Maybe the dust particles are heavier than usual, so solar wind doesn't push them as much. But each of those ideas fell apart under the data. A natural jet wouldn't stay locked in one direction for over 30 days. Comets with outbursts usually have tails that spread out, not stay narrow like this one. And the nickel, the lack of iron, the ultra-high CO2 levels, all of it pointed to something far outside what we've seen in nature. That's when some scientists began to speak more openly about another possibility, artificial behavior. It doesn't mean alien life. It doesn't mean a spaceship with blinking lights, but it might mean something made like a probe. The plume didn't look like random gas. It looked like thrust, like a slow, steady push in a specific direction. That's how ion drives work. NASA and ESA have already used ion engines on spacecraft. They create narrow, steady jets that can move a craft slowly but precisely. When researchers plugged in the numbers, mass, speed, the shape of the jet, they found that only a small amount of constant thrust could explain the movement. Not a lot, just enough to change course gently over time, just like a ship slowing down. One scientist put it like this, if you wanted to enter a solar system slowly and safely, this is exactly how you do it. That thought alone has shaken a lot of people, because if 3i Atlas isn't a comet, what is it? Historical warnings. This isn't the first time something from the sky changed everything. About 66 million years ago, a massive object slammed into Earth near what's now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It was at least six miles wide. It hit with so much energy it caused earthquakes, firestorms, tsunamis, and a global winter. In a flash, 75% of all life on Earth vanished, including the dinosaurs. That object is called the Chicxulub Impactor. What's important is this. We never saw it coming. Back then, of course, there were no telescopes, no tracking systems. But even today, scientists like Michio Kaku have warned that our current systems still miss a lot. Small objects, fast objects, interstellar visitors that don't follow the normal rules. In a recent interview, Kaku said, the last time an object came from the sky without warning, it ended a world. It can happen again and we may not be ready. And that's the scary part. 3i Atlas was only spotted after it had already entered the solar system. It's traveling over 130,000 mph. Its path takes it near Mars, Venus, and later Jupiter. Not far in cosmic terms. If it were slightly off, it could have crossed Earth's path and we wouldn't have known until it was too late. Now to be clear, there's no sign that 3i Atlas is going to hit us. Its trajectory has been calculated. It's moving fast and it's going to fly past. But the fact that it wasn't seen earlier is a problem. What if the next one is slower? What if it's coming straight for us? That's why 3i Atlas isn't just a mystery. It's a wake-up call. We need better early warning systems. We need global cooperation. And we need to be honest about how much we still don't know about the space around us. Because the next visitor from beyond, it might not be so polite. Why this matters now. So why does 3i Atlas matter so much? It's not just about curiosity or cool space science. This object raises real urgent questions about how prepared we are for anything. 
Let's start with planetary defense. That means tracking space objects that could hit Earth. 